Hi, I've been expecting you. Come on in. This week, we're doing something a little bit different. Rather than doing a traditional how-to cleaning video, I thought I would show you around the set of all of our videos, also known as my home. So we don't have to go too far for this leg of the tour. This is our front room, our living room, I guess. As soon as you walk in, this is what you see. We have a couple of comfy chairs, we have a couch, and a funny story about this sofa. My sister and I, when we used to live downtown together, actually applied to be on an HGTV reno show. And part of the deal was we got our condo completely furnished with brand new stuff. So that was a, a huge win for us. Anyway, when I moved out, my sister and I divvied this stuff up. I got the couch and a few other items, which I will point out to you along the way. This here is Frank, who keeps an eye on everything downstairs. On the other side of the room, we have this table, which is from a Canadian store called Staccaro. These two lamps also came from our HDTV show appearance, and we also have this beautiful mirror, which is also from Staccaro and is easily one of our favorite pieces in our home. Down below, we have some antique crates in which we keep cat toys, very important. Alrighty, let's head to the dining room. Our dining room table was the first thing we purchased when we moved into our home. It is also from Staccaro. We get asked a lot about this piece of art, which is a woman's bust made from metal slugs. And it was a birthday gift for Chad a few years ago. And no, it's not me. Over on the other side, we have this piece of art, which Chad made. We took an abstract art course a while back, and this is the product of his efforts. These gears came from Restoration Hardware, and I think this anchor came from HomeSense. And I have no idea why we keep them all together on this table, but it just works, so we do. And then under here, we have uh, two more crates. They store magazines, and we also have some antique newspapers which are sort of fun to read every now and then because you can read about like wigs from 1902. So it's kind of amusing. And this table we kind of scored um, at our old office. The neighbors defaulted on their rent. So the landlord went in and like liquidated everything in this unit. So we ended up picking up this table and a couple of other items for a song. Now we can head into the kitchen. This is a really interesting piece. Chad and I absolutely love it. We got this in a barn. Like it was this antique shop in a huge barn and we had been looking for a piece just like this for a really, really long time because our kitchen lacks a lot of storage. So this gave us the opportunity to store things that we actually want to showcase like glassware, bottles of wine, some cookbooks, and some liquor for those party nights. The thing I love about this piece, it also has two really big utility drawers and then these huge cupboards here, which allow me to store things like small appliances and service pieces that I really don't have room for in my kitchen. Then over here, we have the actual prep area. You can see we don't have a kitchen table. There's no point, we eat in the dining room. So we have a little breakfast bar, which is kind of cute. One thing I really love is my spiralizer. And if you don't know what a spiralizer is, it's a, an implement that allows you to spiralize a vegetable and create vegetable pasta. So I make pasta out of beets, sweet potatoes, zucchini, squash, broccoli stems, all kinds of stuff. One thing I adore in my kitchen, aside from my, well, there are three things I really adore. My spiralizer, my Blendtec blender, which I use every morning to make a smoothie, and my skillet, my cast iron Le Creuset skillet, which was a Christmas gift from my mother-in-law. Thank you, Cindy. And I use this a lot. I mean, I would say probably four or five times a week as well. And finally, oh, <laughs> cornbread. Um, so I have this thing for cornbread. I recently discovered it, I don't know, maybe four or five months ago. 
I cannot stop eating it. Um, if you are interested in a gluten-free, dairy-free recipe for cornbread, let me know and I will make a video about it on my second channel. That's pretty much all we have down here, but what we can do is head upstairs. Just at the top of the stairs to the left, we have this front room. This is kind of our family room sitting room, chill out room, and we spend, I would say, 70% of our time at home when we're awake in this room. A lot happens in here. So this, I would say, had to be probably one of the biggest selling features for the home because we had this in a previous house we lived in, totally fell in love with the concept, and we really, really love this room up here. This is another piece of art that we made during our abstract art class, and I'll let you guess who made this one. This is our fireplace, a must-have for those chilly Canadian winters. Our couch is super comfortable and we both love lazing about on it during our downtime. We recently picked up this ottoman, which Paisley has managed to claim for herself. This was painted by a very talented Canadian artist named Jenna Faye Powell. I'll put a link to her website below. We also keep our TV in this room. We want to upgrade that area at some point. And we have some video games, our robot vacuum, this lady doing a handstand, and of course our wall of pictures and mirrors that we're constantly building, and more alcohol. The next stop on the tour will take us into my office, I guess. Sort of an office. It's also where I do my makeup and kind of keep all of my personal stuff. I also like doing my hair in here and coming up with all kinds of different little DIY projects. I also now take boxing lessons, so I keep my boxing gear in here. Now here we are in Chad's office. I'm not going to give you a full tour because he is going to do a video about that in the near future because he gets asked a lot about his equipment and editing gear and camera gear. So he'll go through that with you on his own, probably on his own channel, check your levels. But one thing I can show you are these. And finally, our bedroom. And I'm sure you've seen several videos in here, but I will still show you around because we do get asked a lot about different pieces in the room. Most of the furniture in our bedroom are antique pieces, which we have had refinished. Both Chad and I love antiquing and finding one of a kind pieces. We also get asked a lot about our famous headboard, which is from a store called West Elm. And right above our bed are these prints, which we got from Stokaro. On the other side of the room, we proudly hang our Maker Reynolds family values, which we made for our wedding and plan to pass on to our children in the future. And that, my friends, is my official house tour. You've pretty much seen our whole house. You know where I sleep, you know where I eat, you know where I do all of the stuff that I do. And I'm really appreciative that you guys asked the question because it obviously gave us something a little bit different to do for this video. If you have any questions about the house or anything that you've seen in the video, feel free to ask it in the comment box down below. Let me know if you want me to expand on anything further. Perhaps we can do a separate video about that later. And remember to check Melissa Maker, my second channel, and Chad's channel, Check Your Levels, to see some of the other videos that we do, which will involve some other things around the house. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, which Chad will put somewhere in this box. That way you can catch more of our videos each and every week. They are usually cleaning related. This is something a little bit off topic. And I'll also put links down below for you to check out some of the items that I mentioned in and around the house, as well as our behind the scenes tour, which I think you might find interesting as well. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.